Has the DMK government gone too far this time? The ongoing tussle between the Tamil Nadu HR and CE, that is Hindu Religious and Charitable Establishment Department, and the Chidambaram Temple is uh, something that we touched upon when we were uh, having uh, Srimati Uma Anandan on our live hangout. And I'm going to give you a link to that video in case you want to catch up with what had transpired in that. What we were talking about is a letter written by the Commissioner of HR and CE, Sri Kumara Gurubaran, saying that, that HR and CE has the right to audit the accounts of Chidambaram Temple. They have been trying to create one mischief or the other. This is they meaning the DMK and its lumpen partners such as the VCK and so on and so forth. Incidentally, the member of parliament that represents Chidambaram is Mr. Thiruma Olavan, who is the leader of that the uh, VCK party, Vidudalai Chiruttai Katshi, which is, is essentially liberation of Tamil tigers. It's the liberation of tigers. That's what it means. Surrogate of LTT, it's uh, uh, very separatist and very extremely radicalized views because this person, Tirumavalavan, keeps talking about his life ambition being destruction of Sanatana Dharma. Let's set that thing aside for the moment. Let's go back to what has been happening in Chidambaram temple. And we have touched upon this in the Umar and then uh, live hangout also. We said that this temple doesn't have any hundi. The reason I'm saying that is because for the HR and CE to step in to audit the accounts, there must be some way that this uh, temple has to have committed malfeasance. Well, if you want to donate money, it is just like you pay for Archana or for doing Kalyanam or doing any other special puja. There is no difference. You get a complete uh, receipt. So the, the Chidambaram Pudu Dikshidars, they have been making, maintaining squeaky clean accounting because they know that these people will find one way or the other to try and usurp this. I mean, this is not just Mr. M.K. Stalin's dream. His father also dreamt of, uh, you know, owning this temple because it was like a thorn in his flesh that he could do a lot of things. He could abuse all the gods, all he wanted, but he could not control this one temple. And he tried doing that. And then Dr. Swami fought him in the Supreme Court and got the Sabana Aikar judgment in 2014. Now, what has happened? Dr. Subramanian Swami has written to the Chief Minister of Tamil Nadu, Mr. M.K. Stalin, saying that the TN, HR and CE uh, department needs to get out of all temples, not just the Chidambaram temple. So this is something like, you know, the last straw on the camel's back. Um, and, and he is quoting here sections from the judgment. I'm going to go over those sections. Paragraph 64, 65, 66, 67 and 68, which settle the issue with ample clarity. And here is the last line. I therefore bring to your notice that the state government has to comply with the ruling of the Honorable Supreme Court and thus free Hindu temples and religious institutions from the control of the state government. See here, he is not talking just about Chidambaram temple. He is talking about free Hindu temples. So There is a lot of import in this particular letter because it is sort of like you know i've had it with you guys now i'm going to make sure that you never set foot on any temple in tamil nadu so this is para 64 it it, it talks about uh, you know um, what are the considerations under which the state government can come in and audit and if you look at the next two 65 and 66 it says there even if the management of a temple is taken over to remedy the evil the management must be handed over to the person concerned immediately after the evil stands remedied first of all i need to also tell you that many executive officer appointments in the temples of tamil nadu the government does not have a record of having sent them an appointment letter. Essentially, it could be anybody coming and saying that I am the executive officer and throw his, start throwing his weight about. So that's, the, that's how low the level of this EO stuff has come to. They can't prove how this particular person became the executive officer. And yet they're all sitting, they're all sitting in all these temples throwing their weight about. And that weight is considerable. Supersession of rights of administration cannot be of a permanent enduring nature. 
These are a couple of points that are mentioned in the Supreme Court judgment, which he can use to basically throw the HR and CE out of all the temples of Tamil Nadu. Read my lips, not just Chidambaram, all the temples of Tamil Nadu. So this essentially means that if Dr. Swami succeeds, then in the state of Tamil Nadu, the HR and CE department will have no work. They'll have to dissolve that. And I don't know what they'll do with the employees. They can all go home for all I'm concerned and restore control back to the way it was before these people started messing around with this. It's not just the DMK government. The previous ADMK government also has done it. The level intensity is a little bit less when it comes to ADMK government. In DMK, it is blatant. It is in your face. And they say, we don't care. We are after your money. That's how I see it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to click on the bell button for notifications. Namaskar.